Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, lived a woman who was vain, self-centered, egocentric. Mm, not to mention slim, firm, and very, very attractive. A woman who was vain, self-centered, egocentric, not to mention slim, firm, and very, very attractive, who believed that the only thing in life that counted was physical beauty. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Let me see thy face. <laughs> That's me. I am the mirror on the wall. Talk about a lousy gig. Stop whining. You could be staring back at some has-been with crow's feet and a chicken neck. Mm-hmm. Lay it on me, sister. Consumed by her own physical appearance, each day she asked the same question. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? And each day she would get the same answer. Before or after the nose job? Suddenly everyone's a critic. Well, you've been asking that question since your last birthday when you turned... 32. Right, 32. Don't. Come on, there were so many candles on that cake, Joan Rivers would have melted. Now you better watch the back of your frame, because <laughs> it would be so tragic if you accidentally just fell off that wall. Uh. So, just answer the damn question. Uh. Why, you the fairest one of them all. <laughs> That's better. At least in this zip code. It was hard to argue with her belief that beauty is the be-all and end-all for a woman of a certain age. Which I am not. Hey, I'm just reading my lines. Although she quite enjoyed her life with her new husband, she had one more obstacle to overcome. Her indescribably beautiful stepdaughter's return from college. Are you going to go on about that the whole time? Once again, just doing my job. You ever have one of them days where you know it's going to be a long one? I'm feeling that right now. Honestly, don't you just poof away when I'm not talking to you? Are you kidding? I'm staying for this. It's about to be hilarious. You know, my mother was right. I should have just bought a normal mirror. Oh, God. She's here. I don't know why her father had to go to work today. Man, I am pooped. Hi, Mommy. Call me that again and I'll drown you. Oh, come on now. You know how much Daddy wants us to be one big happy family. That's enough. Look. You just had to be civil for your father. I know you don't like me. Damn, what'd you knock off for this? Hello, gorgeous. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to me. <laughs> uh, you sure you're not related to her? Ew. Christ. Oh. <laughs> That was delicious right there. You know, there. you're pretty funny. I like you. Honey, the feeling's mutual. Well, I'm going to go lay down for a little while, but we can pick this up later. Later, boo. <laughs> I don't know what you were talking about before. She's fabulous. Would you just shut up? Quit your bitching. You'll get wrinkles. Now tell me. Tell me now. Was I supposed to remember something? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Oh, here we go. Who's the fairest of them all? Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> Are you kidding? Your daughter's a freaking bombshell. Come on, what you expect? She's like half your age. Ooh, and those legs. Woo! Hey, you break me, that's seven years of bad luck. Huh, maybe for you. Hmm. Touche. What am I gonna do now? 
Hell if I know. That was rhetorical. The stepmother's beauty and personality paled in comparison to that of her younger, prettier, firmer, tighter, and much, much hotter stepdaughter. <laughs> and I dip the apple in for three seconds, not two nor four, until there's about five seconds. This book is doing too much. I'm going to use this instead. <laughs> the woman had not only been replaced, but rudely and abruptly shoved aside. Temporarily replaced and shoved aside. Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, my God. God, what's that smell? Girl, I'm gonna have to call you back. God damn, woman, can't you crack a window? <laughs> no, mirror. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Whatever you say, lady, I didn't see nothing. Ooh, this bitch is crazy. Mm.